Count on LEX 18 News now. The time is 3 p.m. Thanks for watching LEX 18 News Now. I'm Kevin Christopher. We're waiting to learn the name of a motorcyclist who was killed in a crash this morning in Lexington. It happened on Old Richmond Road. LEX 18 has learned that the biker collided with a guardrail while trying to avoid a deer. He suffered a severe head injury and died at the scene. The coroner says the driver didn't seem to be speeding and was wearing a helmet. We've learned more about a death investigation in Lee County over the weekend. Troopers say they found a Lexington man dead inside a home on High Point Road Saturday morning. They tell us 34-year-old Jimmy Vanover was shot and killed during a fight with another man. Troopers say they've tracked down the shooter, but they haven't filed any charges. Be sure to join us on air for LEX 18 News at 5. We have a look back at the life of notorious serial killer Charles Manson, as well as details about his Kentucky connection. Your LEX 18 Storm Tracker forecast is coming up right after this. Ageless medical weight loss can help improve your overall health. Robert lost 107 pounds and 83 inches. He reduced his cholesterol and triglycerides levels. Ageless is a safe, affordable, medically supervised weight loss solution. Call today for a free consultation. Well, if you were wanting the sunshine the last couple of days, there you go. Today was beautiful out there. Now, cold, yes, we did start in the mid-20s, and the best we're going to do is the upper 40s, but at least... It's been nice. Now, as we get into the afternoon, we might reach that mid-50 degree mark after we get a little bit more sunshine, but we're also streaming in a little bit of cloud coverage, mainly some high, thin cirrus. And that's really all that we are going to be expecting throughout the day today. So cold, chilly, really, depending on where you are, with the high, thin cloud streaming overhead. This is what we're looking at with temperatures across the region. Upper 40s, low 50s. Like I said, we'll get up maybe about four or five more degrees, but we're running about 10 degrees warmer than this time yesterday and that's all due to the sunshine that we've had throughout the morning and now getting into the afternoon as well you can kind of pick it up on the visible satellite imagery that's what kind of this white stuff that you see kind of moving in otherwise it's for the most part clear but it's very thin cirrus it's not really going to keep the sunshine out and warm our temperatures up quite a bit more but really if you look at the entire eastern half of the country high pressure in full control and that's going to keep the sunshine going for the next few days a lot of snow riding along the 49th parallel. We've got plenty of rain moving in for the Pacific Northwest. The storm door is open, and it's going to keep the showers and storms going for them for the next few days. So if we're looking at Thanksgiving travel, over 75% of the country are going to have dry roads for this one. Very nice. Upper Midwest and into the Upper Great Plains, some snow falling there. We do have some storm systems that will move their way on shore in the Upper Pack Northwest, and then some storms over southern uh, Georgia and northern Florida. But at least for us, that high pressure is going to keep us nice and clear but chilly. Make sure you have a jacket throughout the next couple of days because it will be cold. Now, we are tracking a cold front, but the feature is going to be too far north for us to get any kind of precipitation from it. There will be a shot at some snow if you're traveling north throughout the overnight period, Tuesday into Wednesday. But for the most part, travel day not going to be too bad for us. Even getting into Wednesday, roads will have melted any snow. We'll have definitely some dry weather for the northern states, we, we stay dry throughout this entire time frame. So if you're traveling just in the state of Kentucky, things are going to be just fine. Going throughout the next three days, though, plenty of sunshine, especially in the afternoon, still chilly and starting out very cold the next few days. As far as that temperature trend and what it's going to be doing, well, moving up, up and down throughout the next few days. That's what an active weather pattern will do. We'll, of course, have more in your full forecast coming up at 5 o'clock great selection, dependable service, and a competitive price. We understand, and that's what we bring you every single day. We know we have to work hard to earn your business, so we will. P-Rats, because bigger isn't better. Better is better.